Hello YouTube world! Welcome back for another plated unboxing. This week we have a 2, 2, and 2 because, well, there were too many things we had to try. Plus we have dessert. And it looks like dessert is what was right on top. So at some point this week we will be having lemon olive oil cakes. Because they look very nice and spring-like and uh, hopefully very yummy. One of our meals, trout teriyaki with salad and carrot ginger dressing. I can't read through the card, what do you expect? Which looked absolutely delicious. And wow, that's it comes with all the salad stuff too, apparently, so that's yummy. Mm, good. We also have the chicken pellard with roasted parmesan crusted asparagus and smashed potatoes. Last but not least, we have one of the uh, chef's special meals, the pink peppercorn crusted pork. Uh, cha bah, pink peppercorn crust. It's a tongue twister. Yay. That. Pink peppercorn crusted pork, pork chops, chops with, with pearl, pearl onions, onions and, and polenta. polenta. And alliteration is the name of dinner that night. So... Here's what we have. Butter lettuce to go with the trout teriyaki. Chives for the chicken. I'm so glad they labeled these. Goodies to go with the trout teriyaki, including edamame, there's a carrot, some cherry tomatoes, sesame oil, teriyaki and hoisin already blended. Looks like a piece of ginger. Sesame seeds. Grape seed oil. And a shallot. And uh, what else is in there? Oh, oh no, I'm peeking, I'm peeking. Miso paste. Okay. Wow. All right. For the olive oil cakes, baking powder, there's a lemon. Look at the cute little metal tins. Aren't they adorable? Um, looks like uh, flour. We do have to supply our own olive oil, so we have powdered sugar, flour, regular sugar, baking powder, tins, and a lemon. That's a very simple recipe. If this is good, it's something I can make again and again. I like that. For the chicken, I'm assuming therefore, yep, there's asparagus in there. Okay. We have shredded Parmesan, another lemon, some Yukon gold potatoes, and a little bit of butter. Looks like about two tablespoons worth. That would be for the smashed potatoes, I'm sure. And the asparagus. Helpful hint for those of you who may have actually picked up asparagus but had it get all wilted and horrible and sad looking before you got around to eating it, because that never happens to any real adults. No, never. Um, trim the ends if they're dried out so that they look fresh again, and then put them in water and stick them in the fridge. They'll perk up within a couple days and they'll still taste fine. That is a lot of asparagus. Look at the size of those asparagus peer spears. Yeesh. Yum. Spring veggies. And for the pink peppercorn pork, we have goat cheese, fresh thyme, polenta mix, garlic, probably need to add that to the grocery list. I think I'm actually low on garlic myself some pink peppercorns 
Those look more red to me, but okay. I'll take their word for it. And fennel. I'm really curious. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, that's gonna taste good. Not that I had any doubt, but white wine. Pearl onions. Malden salt. That one's really thin. I don't want that to get lost. And a pat of butter. Elsewhere we have milk. More whole milk. And that's it except for the meat. The never ending box. We're gonna be eating on this stuff all week. We usually have leftovers. All right, our pork chops. That is a huge pork chop. Huge. Pork chop. The chicken breast from the Mosner family. Thank you, Mosner family. And our rainbow trout. Oh, look at those. Ooh. Those are beautiful. You know, the salmon I see in the grocery store is usually that color, and it's color added. Lovely. I look forward to dinner this week. Thank you, Plated.